While I'm setting up, while I'm setting up, while I'm setting up um, Sky Sports to put on in the background, I'm doing it so slowly and just so downingly as well with the news that has just happened regarding our football club, Plymouth Argyle. Morgan Whitaker, one of our star men this season. And just like XD Drew Pug, Pug has just said, I have no words to say. I have no words to say. I have no words to say. And I think you can tell by the voice I'm literally in right now that I'm absolutely devastated with the news that has just happened regarding the start of the January transfer window regarding Plymouth Argyle Football Club. I'm number 19, Morgan Whitaker, our main central attacking midfielder, our goal scorer, our top goal scorer for this season, outshining both Ryan Hardy and new signing Sam Cosgrove. And he's gone back to Swansea City in the championship. I don't think I don't think I don't think he's going to get game time there either. I honestly cannot see it happening. I don't know. I don't know. He'll either break into that team or he will, um, or he'll just be sidelined on the bench like like Panucci Kamara has been for Ipswich. I have no words to say. I have no words to say. I think this genuinely, probably because of what of that it's happening now, this feels as bad as when Ryan Lowe departed us to snake off to Preston. But to everyone who's watching, look at Morgan Whitaker's Instagram page. Look at Morgan Whitaker's Instagram page. He doesn't, he didn't want to leave. He didn't want to leave our club. And I feel Swansea have forced him to go back. And I and I know and I know clubs can do that because clubs have the power over players, but it's just heartbreaking at the end of the day. It really is heartbreaking at the end of the day. And while I have Arsenal Newcastle on in the background in the Premier League, I'm looking one day that us boys in green Plymouth Argyle will hopefully be up there one day. But <sighs> I look at clubs like Brentford, Brighton, Bournemouth, Blackpool, who have done it before. But at the same time, it's hard to think like that when you have one of your star players who's just gone back to another um, to a club to a club in in a level above us that we're trying to get up to for next season. When we're we're six points clear of Ipswich, five four points clear of Sheffield Wednesday, top of the league, and then one of our most important players. Um, it happens like that. That quicker like that, quicker than Thanos's snap, probably. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, to those of you joining, thanks. Uh, thanks for joining in. Uh, I genuinely, um, the thumbnail will be made later on. A big shout out to Harv Rosevia for for it. Uh, Big shout out to Harv Rosevere for it, uh, for wanting to make a thumbnail for for me regarding this. But I think you can tell by, I think you can tell that I'm genuinely heartbroken. I'm genuinely, genuinely heartbroken. Who's just put the W win sign? Oh boy. Uh, right. Let's re let's reply to comments so far see what's been said um i feel that as we have both danny mayer and finazaz alongside three four world-class strikers we should be okay still a massive loss 
though, and I'm completely heartbroken. I think all of us as a club are completely heartbroken. Even Suey's completely heartbroken. Suey's completely heartbroken. And I'll, I will get this up from um, from from a source I heard earlier from Liam. Uh, big shout out to Liam, of course. Work with him on the Argyle way. Uh, if Mumba gets recalled, then Saxon Early's going to have to have the season of his life for the end of this season. I don't think Mumba will get recalled. He's just reacted to Whitaker's Instagram post. He's heartbroken as well, but. I want to think positive. I don't want to think pessimistically or negative because it just looks crap on us all, honestly. <sighs> yeah, and yeah, Bobby Cooper is still here. I love him to bits. I can only see him leave if uh, if we don't go up. <sighs> I better I better read out everything that I've just read. All all throughout this last this this last hour so far, because I'm I have I'm I have speechless. I have no words to say. I have no freaking words to say. I want to swear I will, but don't really want to when I'm aiming for a family friendly audience here at the same time. I'm genuinely speechless and heartbroken. I'm genuinely speechless and heartbroken. Big shout out there to uh, Pingo, Bristol Rovers fan, who I speak to on Discord, and um, Luca, Panda Boy, Ipswich fan. I mean, aside from us, it's... And you have to look at it from a neutral perspective as well. It's good news for the rest of the league, especially if you're an Ipswich fan or a Sheffield Wednesday fan, because you know they're chasing us in the league. In a way, good news for Bolton as well, because that's who we've got this weekend. We've got two massive away games against Bolton and Ipswich and coming up. And this is and this is what this is what I think. This is what I think. If if Whitaker was going to get back to Swansea, then the best time would have been at the end of this window, once we would have played Ipswich and Bolton. And I know that also sounds suckingly awful to say as well, because that's before we play Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough. But <sighs> Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough is in February. And obviously you can't beat the transfer window for that. That's just that's just how it works in football. And especially in this country, it's always been like that. It's so frustrating. Because my good news is, is that I've got Bolton sorted. So please check out for my Bolton video. I've got Ipswich sorted. Please check out for my Ipswich video after next week. I'm even going to Bristol Rovers for the Pizza Cup Papa John's trophy. I missed out on the mem this season because I was in that ticket via Sco. So it feels privileged that I can go to uh, that I can go to um, Rovers next week. Steve is spot on. Steve is spot on. I should cheer up. I have faith in Stewie. I do still have faith in Stephen Schumacher. What a manager he's been for us. But like, big shout out to Harvey England as well. Like Harvey said, um, like Harvey said, uh, it is really Ben Wayne's time to shine. Because if you, if to any of the Argyle fans who don't know this yet, Ben White, ben, we've signed Ben Wayne from the New Zealand League. And I, the reason why I have high hopes in him is because it's because I'm hoping he reminds me of one of our own back in the 20, early 2010s, late 2000s, Rory Fallon. And he was an absolute legend for us. And he played for New Zealand and he was in um, Argyle's team. And he even um, he even um, he, he was even at New Zealand for the World Cup in 2010. Um. And it's a shame also because it's been such a fantastic season. And if we go up, this has been by far our best season in a long while. Um, I 
And we deserve it as well. I grew up with us being in the championship. It's been a 12-year wait. And I'm worried some of our players will leave if we absolutely bottle the rest of this season. I don't think we will, but if we do, it's going to be a turbulent summer, I reckon. Michael Cooper will probably go Aston Villa if we don't go up. He's been so linked to there. I don't want him to leave. I, I Personally, I don't think Cooper will leave anyway because his girlfriend lives in Tor Points. He loves it down here. It just wouldn't shock me. It just wouldn't shock me if he did move to Villa, if Argyle stayed in League One for another season. And that's where things get worse because if we stay in League One for another season, some of our star players who have worked their buttocks off for us this season put our club back put our name back on the map properly so far this season Mumba will go back to Norwich Aston Villa will chase up Coops our captains will be either Randall or Scar I mean I'm I know that sounds all negative and stuff but I still think I still think we can um we can go up this season I still have faith in Shuey. He's probably the best manager we've had since Derek Adams, of course, when we last went up in 2017. But there's a difference. He's another level to Derek Adams. He's another level to Ryan Lowe. And he's mid-table now at Preston. Shows he made, some, made a massive mistake. And like Steve's just said, we are not a one-man team. Others will come in and do the business. I have full faith in Ben Wayne. I have full faith in Saxon Early. But I know this sounds bad for me to say, but I genuinely hope Swansea get relegated now from the championship after that. And I know that sounds really salty for me to say, but the reason why I do say stuff like that is because if Swansea do get relegated, Morgan might look at that thinking... I wish I would have stayed at Argyle. But that's where things get complicated because I just looked at Morgan Whitaker's Instagram. Right, I will read you Morgan Whitaker's Instagram now. Uh, let's let's get it up. Let's get it up. Uh, Morgan Whitaker said 55 minutes ago on Instagram, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to the fans, the players and the staff at Plymouth Argyle Football Club. This club is so special to me and some of my best moments of my career happened here. I am devastated that I could not continue here for the whole season, but I hope the Pilgrims go and get promotion because they deserve it. We will be supporting from afar up the Argyle what does that tell you? He really didn't. He didn't want to leave. He didn't want to leave. It's a shame Swansea didn't listen to him. And I know a player doesn't have the power over a football club at the end of the day. We all know that. Look at Ronaldo at Man United, for example. But it's just, it's just so frustrating for all us Greens. It's so frustrating. So frustrating when that we've pulled up, we've pulled together so far our greatest season since the 2016 17 season. Uh, but in but I'd say even more so since the 2003 04 season when we get when we went up to the championship from the League One when we battled QPR for that League One um title, and of course we beat QPR to it. Uh like Graham's just said, yeah, he clearly didn't want to go. It's it's gutting. It's absolutely gutting. Morgan, if you, if you watch this some point tonight or some point during the week, I just wanted to say I absolutely love you. I absolutely love you from the bottom of my heart of our football club down in the far southwest of England. Me being a proud Cornishman and a proud supporter of this football club. <sighs> I absolutely love you for Ed Fang and a massive, just massive thank you for everything, everything you've done for our football club. I'd love to see you back at us one day. Who knows? It might happen. You could do what Jose Mourinho did at Chelsea, for example. Who knows? Who knows? But it's just, it's, it's gutting. It's gutting. 
Thank you for everything, Morgan. And I really mean that, honestly. The 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 work you've and love you've had for our football club has been absolutely amazing. And our players, our other players have said the same about you, mate, as well. Niall Ennis has called you a some some player. Cal Burton, the main man, Dan Scar, our star boy man, Mikel Miller, big, big baller. Jordan Houghton's gutted. Joe Edwards has put three green hearts. Gillespie's put a heart and a star. An Instagram account I follow, PAFC Reports. Massive shout out to them. From everyone at Argyle, we can't thank you enough for what you've done in such a short period of time. You've got a bright future ahead of you. Once a green, always a green. Uh, let's, um, Adam Randall, he's gutted as well. Big shout out to Cam Vlogs as well. What a player. Going to be huge loss. Best of luck with your career. Once a green, always a green. Bally Mumba said, damn, this is why I don't think Mumba's going to leave. You never know because Norwich, Norwich might do what Swansea have just done, but I, I, I can't see it happening. And I know this sounds a bit petty for me because they're arch rivals, but if we're battling the league with Ipswich, why would Norwich want to recall Mumba back when we're battling this league with their biggest rivals? <sighs> Just shows how unfair football is, honestly. Finazaz said, been a pleasure. Matt Butcher's gutted. Brendan Galloway's gutted. Oh, Morgan, I love you to bits. I absolutely love you to bits, mate. I guess Swansea had other ideas. I look at it one way or the other. Either, either if Swansea get relegated this season, I will be nothing against Swansea fans or anything, but I will be absolutely delighted because Morgan might look at that thinking, God, I wish I was at Argyle still. But at the same time, if Swansea didn't get relegated and we went up and we faced Swansea next season, and let's say, for argument's sake, Whitaker was playing for Swansea next season and we faced against him and we faced against Whitaker next season, then and and we and we and we shushed Swansea in both games at Home Park and the Liberty Stadium. What does that tell you as well? What does that tell you as well? I'm absolutely gutted. Honestly, I have no words to say. I was going to vent out after the, hearing this news, and here we are. Let's let's read more of the comments. Premier League updates: nil nil at the Emirates between Arsenal and Newcastle. But anyway, um, let's have a look. Uh, Bobby Reynolds, 1GB, hello, please talk to me. Is Cooper still there? Yeah, of course, Cooper's still with us. Uh, what about Saxon Early and Mumba and Ben Wayne? Well, like I said, if now that we've signed Saxon Early from Stevenage, and Stevenage have been absolutely brilliant this season, I, I'm gutted for Stevenage um, with the way that they've lost him uh, like that. Just shows how cruel football can be. It's, it's a brilliant signing for us, of course, but... I can relate how Stevenage fans feel about that. And that's exactly how I feel now about Whitaker. Uh, Saxon, Saxon early. It wouldn't shock me. It depends if Mumba stays. I'm confident he will. And I'm optimistic he will. I'm optimistic we're still going to go up this season. It's no doubt that us, Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday have been the three best teams in League One this season. And there is no one else I can see go up this season. The main people that can't see us going up is the bookies because, well, that's the bookies for you. They even The bookies even have Bolton as favourites going into our game away at them on Saturday. And on their thinking, what? And that's nothing against Bolton or their fans at all. I mean, let's be honest, it is brilliant news for Bolton, um, Whitaker going, because that'll put that will give them confidence now going into Saturday. Uh, but 
Look at where we are in the table and look at where Bolton are in the table. Don't get me wrong. Bolton, have, I, I say, have had a very good season um, considering the season they had last season. And it's been an improvement for them. But they're miles off the pace from us at the moment. So it, we should be the favourites. Um, the game won't be easy. And I'll tell you that now, because especially that it's, um, for me, it's the two best keepers in the league, Michael Cooper and James Trafford. And I personally think James Trafford's been the best keeper in League One this season. He's been he's been brilliant for the Trotters. Uh, but I wouldn't underestimate Bolton because they are a good side. It can easily go either way, but it could also be a nil-nil and both goalies have a masterclass or stuff. But it's going to be an even much more interesting one now on Saturday with Whitaker going back to Swansea. So Ben Wayne's going to have to shine for us. If we want to get promoted, same as Saxon early. It wouldn't shock me, like Shuey's done all season with Ennis, Cosgrove and Hardy. It wouldn't shock me if Shuey rotates both Saxon early and Mumba. But it depends on how well Saxon early does for us. It really depends on that. And it will be... It'll be a massive shame if Saxon Early doesn't perform for us. And that's the same with Ben Wayne. Because, well, they now know what what um, what um they've got to do for our club. And it's simple as this. Help us get promoted. Simple as that. I don't care if we finish second or win the league. This is our best chance of going into the championship for the first time since 2010. And we and with the way this season's gone so far, it sounds biased, but we deserve it. It's been that long of a wait with us being in League One and League Two, especially the 2011-12 and 2012-13 seasons, the two darkest seasons in the history of our football club. When we looked, we were, when we looked to be on the brink of going re, getting relegated to the National League, and we would have been the biggest club in probably the history of English football to ever do that, to ever do that. And thankfully, it never happened. And we picked up the pieces again. And this will be huge for us if we get promoted this season. We deserve it. We deserve it with the way the season's gone. We deserve it. Ipswich deserve it. Sheffield Wednesday deserve it. Three best teams in League One this season. It's going to be... It's going to be a very interesting second half of the season now, um, reacting to this Morgan Whitaker news. Uh, Morgan Play says, just hope Mumba doesn't get recalled. Well, to be honest, mate, all of us hope he doesn't get recalled. All of us hope he doesn't get recalled. Uh, so it's going to be an interesting one, honestly. Uh but oh, it's, it's painful. If I could cry, I would. <clears throat> Maybe it looks like that from my facial expression now. Steve is right. I need to cheer up and have faith in Shuey, which I I do at the end. I do hundred percent as well because he's been he's been unbelievable. For us, ever since, ever since, um, ever since, um, ever since Ryan Lowe left, uh, just bear with me a second, guys. Sorry, Bella, but yeah, no, what I was going to say, um. I do have faith in Shuey, of course. He's he's a fantastic manager for us. The passion for his club has been amazing. Uh, honestly, um, honestly, uh, oh God, and if we do get that Premier League dream one day, I'm still confident. I'm still confident he'll um 
he'll bring us into that dream one day. Blackpool have done it. Brentford have done it. Brighton have done it. Swansea have done it. Wigan have done it. Hull have done it. There's no Brentford have done it. There's Bournemouth have done it. There's no reason why we can't. Even if we have to deal with bloody VAR for a season. I'd love to see my life go one day before I pass away. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, massive love, bro. I was right behind you in the Cheltenham game and was in most of your video. Yeah, no, honestly. Uh, no, I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. And I'd like to give um, Panda Boy 74 Ipswich fan Luca a massive shout out as well. Uh, for private messaging me, asking me if I was all right regarding all this. And uh, I don't usually get this from football fans most of the time. And I, I honestly, even if you just, even if you do support Ipswich, who is one of our main rivals this season, that is just respect in every single way. And I'll tell you what, Luca, I cannot wait to um to meet you next week when we um when we come to Suffolk at Portman Road. I really appreciate. I really appreciate um. Your message there, mate. Honestly, thank you. Uh, but I'll look at your comment now anyway, Luca. I know there have been rumours about Ipswich signing Whitaker off Swansea, but I think that would be kind of sucky of our club to do. If we do get him, I hope it's after the 14th out of respect for you a lot. I do appreciate that. Thank you. I mean, if Ips I, do I don't think he will go to Ipswich, but if he did sign for Ipswich, then, well, there's nothing you can do. I'm not going to blame Ipswich, obviously. Uh, I'd just be, i just be, um, i just have less sympathy for Whitaker. But you can't, you can't, you can't control. Obviously, at the end of the day, on what a player does, it's up to them and what they want to do and stuff. And uh, if they want to join us, join a club or etc. But. From now, from what I'm speaking now, Morgan, I absolutely love you for everything you've done for our football club. And honestly, I couldn't thank you enough for it. You've been a vital part into our season this season. And I'm hoping we can continue the way we are from, from this patchy moment Uh onwards towards the rest of the season because we have got a huge second half of the season coming up and two of those games we've played in the second half of the season already Wickham at home and MK Dons at home and we beat both of them so I'll tell you what and they were huge that Wickham win especially was huge as well considering they were bang on form before coming into that game as well and I was nervous because Wickham looked so good and I even said to the boys on the Argyle way, it wouldn't shock me if if it ends up a nil-nil draw because Wickham are playing so well at the moment. But we proved, my boys proved me wrong and it ended 1-0 to us. And doing the double over one of our so-called bogey sides was absolutely massive at the end. And it's a statement as well because Wickham are a good side. They are a good side, especially when they've got their first team together. Again, I was still shocked Mehmeti didn't start the game. But we beat Wickham, we beat MK Dons. And after those two wins, I know MK Dons have nowhere near been what uh, they were last season, of course. And obviously they demolished us at Home Park last season. Uh, they, uh, You look at those wins thinking our next away games are Bolton and Ipswich, two huge away games. And... That gave me confidence going into those two away games. And I still have confidence going into those two away games. When we look at the team we already have, we beat Bolton this season. We beat Ipswich this season. Yes, they were both at home. So home games on paper look easier than away games. But I'm still confident for Bolton and Ipswich. But at the same time, it's nerve wracking as well, because obviously they are two huge games at the end of the day, and I'm not going to underestimate either of them. They're both brilliant sides to watch as well. Those two away games, plus Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough, they could decide our season. They could decide our season. And especially with Ipswich next week, you know they're going to go for it as well when they're, when they're, um, when they're um, six points behind us. They'll 100% go for the three points next week against us, and I know that for a fact. 
So we're going to, us fans in green, are going to have to sing our lungs off at both Bolton and Portman Road next week. Get behind the team, no matter what, even if Whitaker is gone. Get behind the team, no matter what. What other words do I say? Um, get behind the team, no matter what. Sing our lungs off, especially from what I've heard, that Ipswich have a phenomenal home atmosphere as well. And this will be my first time to Ipswich next week. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be experiencing it as well. I'm going to be experiencing it as well. We need to do everything we can to get behind the team because it's one of our biggest games and biggest tests of the season. Both of them are. Both of these two games coming are two of our biggest tests of the season. And I know we have a good record against Bolton, but honestly, do not underestimate them because they are a good side. They're going to be huge. They're going to be huge. And we have to get behind the team. We can't afford some of our so-called fans booing at the players for a terrible performance or booing in general because it's toxic and disgusting. And what does that do? Nothing. It doesn't help the team, the club, the players, the manager, any good at all, all the fans any good at all. And it's just disgusting from start to finish. It's not just our club. It's every club in England. We have to get behind the team no matter what. And especially for these next two games, because they're going to be absolutely massive. We have got to do everything we can to get behind this team, because this is at the moment our best season since 2004, when we won League One to get into the championship. When we battled that season long, hard with Queen's Park Rangers and beat QPR to it at the end, even if both of us went up. This is massive. The pressure is on. The pressure is on. Just shows how, shows how huge, shows how huge and competitive this League One campaign honestly is. But in general, people don't realise how competitive the league is, as well as League One, League Two, Championship, National League is, as much as the Premier League is. Even if you go down to grassroots football. And if you haven't seen my documentary again for that on my third channel called the videos called Grassroots, the Isle of Wight documentary, shout out to my friend Noah Cumsty and it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Noah. But if anyone does watch that documentary of mine um, that I did for my master's grassroots, Isle of Wight, Isle of Wight, um, the, uh, an Isle of Wight grassroots football documentary, please give it a watch because I worked so hard on that as well. My 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 course loved it as well, but honestly, this is just this is just gutting news about Morgan Whitaker, isn't it? Um, it really now depends if he gets game time at Swansea, or he moves elsewhere this January. It's going to be mental. It's going to be a mental January, and today we're only in the third day. Um, third third date of the third day of January and it's already been a mental January transfer window. Uh, but like Steve said, we are not a one-man team. Others will come in and do the business. Shelley said Everton relegation Premier League. Well, you know what? If Everton go down and we go up, that's going to be massive for us to go Goodison Park next season. I mean, what a fixture that'll be as well. Plymouth Argyle versus Everton Football Club. Honestly, that's going to be um that's going to be that's going to that would be huge if that happens obviously. And Everton could still go down from the Premier League of course as well. West Ham United relegation Premier League. No, I can't see that happening. West Ham are too good for the Premier um, to go down. I personally think they've got such a good... Uh, uh, they're not doing well at the moment, but they've got such a strong side in the Premier League at the moment. Uh, Tommy E says, sorry, I just joined. Do you guys know Whitaker has left to go back to Swansea? Yeah, he has. He, he, is, he has gone back to Swansea. It's, it's a real shame. It will really... It'll be a real shame, honest. It is a real shame. Shelley saying Stevenage got promotion. They could still, they could still go up, even without, even without Saxon Early, who's just joined us, of course. 
Tommy E says, mate, Ben Wayne is class. Well, you know what? I have high hopes and hoping that Ben Wayne is class for our football club. Because if Ben Wayne does exactly what Rory Fallon did for us, and also even if he is a striker and takes the goal scoring opportunities that Whitaker had for us this season, then I have high hopes for him. And Ben Wayne is young as well. So it's going to be really interesting to see how he does for us as a club. And I know this might sound silly, but Argyle's very well linked with both New Zealand and Australia in general as well, because we're quite well known in those two countries. Oh, I'm gutted. But Whitaker, he's young as well. He's younger than me. He's 21 years old. He's younger than me. It's a real shame. Honestly, it's it's absolutely gutting. I've just had a new comment. Uh, I'm gonna let. Um, I'm gonna get it up now. Uh, oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's just someone liking my, my reply. Okay, what a prat I am. Uh, anyway, uh, to be fair to Whitaker, he can play as both a forward and a winger as well, as, as well as that attacking midfield um, um, positions he's been playing in. So what does that tell you? If Ben Wayne can pick up from where Morgan Whitaker has left us from, left us, um, left, left, left from us, then that will be huge for us. I'm still confident in this team. And at the end of the day, I think our two biggest losses, if they ever if they ever left our club, are Michael Cooper and Dan Scar. Michael Cooper is the best keeper we've had since Roman Lario years ago when I grew up with us being in the championship. And when Dan Scar was injured for us, our defence was not the same. And I genuinely mean that as well. It honestly wasn't. They're, for me, our two most vital players. I mean, if Mumba goes back to Norwich, that'll be even more gutting than Whitaker. Personally, if I had to choose, I'd rather keep Mumba than Whitaker. But obviously, overall, I don't I didn't want I, I don't want either of them to leave. But of course, Whitaker's now gone and it just feels absolutely devastating. It really does. Our top scorer this season and what he's done for this football club especially through this season, has been unbelievable. And I could see, I know it wasn't his best performance, but I could see from when he scored, when I went to my first away day and game from this season, away at Shelton at the Valley, that he was a goal-scoring man. Yeah, he's joint, goal, he's joint top scorer for this season with seven alongside Ryan Hardy. And Ryan Hardy, though, has the most goals in general, nine in all competitions, but... But it's not about the goal scoring for us. Ryan Hardy, yes, was way more prolific for us last season than he's been for this season. But this season, a whole range of our um, players have been getting in the score sheet. And to be fair, at the same time, that looks really good on us as well if we want to get promoted. It's clinical. It's clinical at the end of the day. I'm really confident Ben will be just like Cosgrove and Hardy and will be on fire. Graham, I have my I have my hope, my huge hope and high hopes that he is full of desire and I can't wait to see him play for us. Nah, Tommy, Tommy, have faith in us. Have faith in us. Tommy's saying we're going to struggle now, now that Whitaker's gone. Honestly, no, have faith in us. Have faith in us. Have faith in us. Honestly, we can still do this. We can still do this. We can still get promoted this season. This is a blip. This is a blow. This is a blow into our season. But we can still do this. Look at the squad we've got. Michael Cooper, Dan Scar, Adam Randall, Bally Mumba, Ryan Hardy, Sam Cosgrove. Honestly, we can still do this. We can still do this without Morgan Whitaker, without Panucci Kamara, 
We can still do this. We have strong competition, Ipswich, Sheffield Wednesday, and to a certain extent, Bolton, Wickham, Barnsley, Derby. We can still do this. We can honestly still do this. We can still get to where, back to where we deserve to be for next season. And I'm, I have high hopes we will. It's going to be a long five months coming, including this month, of course, for the, towards the end of this season. This is going to be huge. Like, like Graham said, I've been told Brighton's 1-0 up against Everton, but like Graham said, our squad is good. The two new signings, Saxon Early and Ben Wayne, will add a lot. This is huge. This is huge. Yes, Whitaker's gone, but this is huge. I still have faith we're going to do this. I still have faith we're going to do this, honestly. It's a tight league. It's a hard league to get out of. But look at where we are, top of the league. We are the best team in the league. Other fans will say Ipswich are the best team in the league. Sheffield Wednesday are the best team in the league. But the table doesn't lie. Who's top of the league? Plymouth Argyle. That's right. Plymouth Argyle Football Club. We are top of the league. Honestly, we can still do this. The table doesn't lie. Ipswich may have the best squad in depth. Sheffield Wednesday may, pull, may, have, may have pulled off the best transfers. But who's the best team in the league right now? Plymouth Argyle. The table doesn't lie. It's strong competition with Ipswich. It's strong competition with Sheffield Wednesday. Our away days at Portman Road and Hillsborough are going to be huge, especially now that Whitaker's gone. And even our game away at Bolton this weekend, even if our record against Bolton is absolutely brilliant. This is going to be a very, very interesting turning point of the season. It's not exactly a turning point, obviously, but this is a big statement from today's news that Morgan Whitaker has gone back to Swansea City Football Club. But like I said, think positive. I'm fed up with all the comments across social media saying the downfall starts here. There's been comments saying that after we lost 2-0 to Port Vale. And I know I said in my vi video, I hate football, but that's just me being passionate about my football club at the end of the day. We can still do this. We can still do this. And also, I say stuff like that every time Argyle lose. But I'm used to it. Everyone's used to it. It's football for you. Like I said, this may be a blip, today's news. And I, I, I thank everything Whitaker's done for us. But we can, still, we can still go up. We can still do this. The table doesn't lie. The table doesn't lie. With the best team in the league. Same with Arsenal in the Premier League. The table doesn't lie. And I know that that's painful for me to say that because Chelsea's my second team through my dad. Obviously, nowhere near the support I have of Argyle, of course. But the table doesn't lie. Arsenal are the best team in the Premier League. And I, I think they'll win the Premier League this season. But as for us, enough about Arsenal. As for us, we can still do this. We can still do this. I know this sounds biased, but we are Plymouth Argyle Football Club at the end of the day. But like I said, we can still do this no matter what. We're top of the league. The table doesn't lie. Honestly, honestly, there I said it from now. It's going to be a long end to the season now, and I'll tell you that for sure. Marcus, Marcus Parkin says, as long as Mumba doesn't get recalled, and mate, I feel exactly the same as you. Uh... <laughs> okay, you know what, Steve? That does make me laugh, to be fair. Cheer up, you miserable git. And to be fair, Graham does say, Graham is right. Don't forget Morgan Whitaker was a lonely. We have no control on him. He isn't our player. It is true. It is true. But I still have faith. I still have, mate. Uh, I still have faith. 
that we can do this this season. We can still do this this season, even if Whitaker goes. Tommy E reckons Ipswich first, Argyle second, Wednesday third, Bolton fourth, Derby fifth, Wickham sixth. Can still happen. And like I said, I will be delighted with second place unless it's unless it's we're already up and then we lose the title to Ipswich on the last day. But that I don't care. I will be delighted with second regardless anyway. Second place may not be the best, but it's automatic promotion. And I had us from the very start of the season to for Plymouth Argyle Football Club, for our football club to finish second this season. And I was confident in our team going into this season as well. Uh I'm gonna have to hurry up because I know I've got another, I've got another, um, I've got another um I've got a Zoom meeting to join. Uh but Graham saying Ipswich won't be in the top two. I'm afraid I disagree. Not that I'm saying they they could still not be in the top two, but I still think they can. They still they're a brilliant team at the end of the day. I still think the top two is going to be us at Ipswich. I think Wednesday will just miss out, but it can be any one of us three. We're the three best teams in the league and the table doesn't lie. Oh, man. Mark is saying what you think about the two new signings we've made this January, Ben Wayne and, um, and Saxon Early. Very good signings. They just got to be brilliant for us at the end of the day. And especially with Whitaker gone, especially with Whitaker gone, it will be... Um, it will be um, it, it, it it will be m mental if they become an absolute impact for both of us. Cornish coin collector saying they should have not have asked him back unless they are going to play him for every game. He was so good at his age, such a bad decision for him. Swansea should be ashamed. That's not my words. Cornish coin collector's words. Um, what do you think about the two signings? Yeah, again, literally what I just said. Uh, but yeah, no, honestly. Uh, I mean, we can't really have control with what Swansea's just done, but because he is Swansea's player at the end of the day. But we're, um, it's like I said, it's a big loss, but don't get, I, I know I'm down about this, but we can't get too down because look where we are in the table. We can still get promoted this season. And if we do get promoted, like a famous Fog Dad once said, I will be saying it tastes like promotion. But anyway, um, that's still ages away. That's still April, May time. Uh, cheers, Harvey. Thumbnails in the Google Drive, Jack. I really appreciate that. Graham saying they will sell him. He will go to a championship or lower Premier League club. He won't go to Ipswich. I can't see him going to Ipswich with the way he's left us. He wanted to stay at us as well. I can't see him going to a League One rival this season. Uh, and then I heard something about... Um, Tommy E said, Argyle are bidding for Giovanni Brown from Exeter. Could you imagine? Could you absolutely imagine? I mean, it'll be a sucker punch on Exeter. So <laughs> that would be hilarious, of course. They're obviously our biggest rivals. Uh, but I've been hearing from fans of that annoying club that, that he's a Grecian for life. But if he did sign for us, then it would be a Judas from... It'll be a, it'll be a Judas from Exeter, so I'll take it any day of the of the week, and because it will wind up all the Exeter fans out there. So yeah, that's all I can say regarding that. But I can't see it happening. It would be funny though. I will tell you that it would be funny. Just shows he chooses the best club of the West Country as well. If he ever did do that as well. Uh Tommy E saying, please reply. Morgan Whitaker neither plays for Swansea. He only plays preseason and cup games. There is no point of taking him. I don't know. I guess time will tell. Uh, the real deal, the real D1 Bolton fan, been subbed for a while now, mate. Love the content, mate. And um, can we meet at Cheltenham game and get a photo, please? Uh, 
Sorry, sorry. Um, sorry. It's because there's someone, I swear there's someone on my Discord chat that has that similar name that's a Bolton fan. I, I, I'm clueless with what I'm saying right now. I, I really do apologise. But yeah, if you're, um, either way, if you're coming to the Cheltenham game and you want a photo, yeah, honestly, I'm more than welcome to. That's, uh, I, I really appreciate that. No, I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's because there's a, um, it's because there's a Discord fan on, um, there's someone on my Discord chat, um, who's a Bolton fan, who has that similar name. I do apologise, um, thinking you were a Bolton fan there, mate. Um, but I need to hurry up because I've got to go because I've got to, got to join another um, live stream. But um, you know what, actually, I'll take a break. I'll go back to this live stream later on because I've got an important video to make uh, um, at the moment. But I will reply all to this later on and uh, this, this conversation won't finish anyway. I'll see you guys for part two later on. Up the Greens, up up the Janners, up the Pilgrims, up the Janners, up the Greens, up the Argyle, up the Plymouth. Come on, you Greens. <laughs>